Hey everyone, welcome to the show. Today's feature is going to be on the software that's used to control the features and settings of the M711 Cobra RGB gaming mouse made by Red Dragon. Now I did do a video on the mouse. I did a review and unboxing of it. I will leave the link in the description below if you want to check that video out. Now that you have the software open, you are graded with a very intuitive interface. Uh, you have different tabs that you can go through that allows you to make the different settings and changes. Uh, on the first tab here we have General. And as you can see, it gives you the option to change the programmable buttons, whatever you choose. Click on one of them, it brings down a drop down menu. And you can change it to left click, right click, uh, the middle button feature on the scroll wheel, uh, go forward, backwards, you can change it to all kinds of things. Then you can even change your DPI settings. Uh, if you are okay with your DPI settings and you don't want to change it on the fly with the button that's on the wheel, you can actually take that button then and turn it into something else. Um, you can actually create a fire button create a macro and just come over here and you click on macro manager and you create your macro save it and then when you click on that button it activates whatever the macro is now uh, you can even change the scrolling feature on the mouse why you would want to do that I have no idea but you can do it um, you can change the scroll up uh, it's scrolling down. Uh, you can change it for volume controls. So I guess if you're an application like uh, Spotify or something like that, you can have it set to where you can change your volume. Uh, you can go forward, backwards in a browser. Uh, you can change it to left click, right click, you name it. Now over here we have a few more settings. We have acceleration, which is the changing of the sensitivity of your mouse, the higher the setting, the more sensitive your mouse is going to be. Down here we have pointer speed, which is kind of similar to acceleration. It changes how fast your mouse cursor moves. Scroll speed is how fast you can scroll up and down. Scroll wheel. So if you're in a website that's very long, you can scroll to the bottom fast if you have it at a higher setting. Or if you're in an Excel spreadsheet, same thing, you could scroll up and down very fast if you change the speed setting. Uh, the double click speed is just how fast you can double click on something. Usually you leave it where it's defaulted at. Now polling rate is a feature or setting that tends to deal with gamers. Uh, what it is is it's how often your mouse reports back your movements to your computer. So for instance if you have it on 500 Hertz that means that it's reporting back to the computer 500 movements per second. Uh, the higher your setting the less lag that you're gonna have so most gamers and you, and most gaming mice default settings are at 1000 hertz so it's more precise and it reports back 1000 times per second so the accuracy level is very high um, down here you have your five profiles now you can change everything as far as settings go per profile so you can have one profile that uh, is for gaming one is for web browsing another one would be for working in some kind of program like a CAD program or Photoshop or something along those lines now it has a button on the bottom that says mode switch uh, which allows you to change 
to different profiles on the fly without having to go into the software. So you can have five settings. However, you can have more than five profiles set up. So what you can do is you can make all the changes that you want and then come down here do save as and then as you can see you can save different profiles. I have a test profile down here. You would just type in the name of the profile, click save, and it would be there for you if, in the future if you need it. Uh, if you do want to change one of those saved profiles, you just come down here to load, click on the profile, click open, and it loads that profile. Now here in the light section, you can change the seven different color settings that are offered. The first one is breathing. You can change colors to these different colors here. Change the brightness level and the breathing speed. Now this section here, this is the custom light color section. What you're supposed to be able to do is choose a color, say orange, and then change it to a different variant of that color. So if you wanted to go a little bit darker in the orange, you would come down here and click that, and then click apply. Now, with the mouse and the software that I have, unfortunately, this feature does not work. Uh, when I do this, what it does is it changes the color on the mouse to like a grayish purple color. Uh, sometimes it changes it to a different solid color. It, it varies, but it does not change it to the setting that I choose. Now, I did contact Red Dragon about this situation, and they did offer a solution. Unfortunately, that solution did not work. So they are sending me a new mouse, and hopefully that changes or corrects the problem. Now under the rainbow tab here, you can change the brightness level and the breathing speed. And then on the mouse, it just cycles through the colors. On the full light it section, can set it to a solid color and the mouse just stays lit with whatever color that you've chosen. You can change the brightness level on that setting as well. Under wave you can change the brightness level and the breathing speed and as it cycles through it kind of looks more like a rainbow to me uh, but it goes through the different colors and it usually has like three or four of the colors in the line at the same time as it cycles through. Go without trace. Uh, it's kind of like the wave but a lot faster and it usually shows one solid color as it goes through. You can change the brightness level as well on that one. Under reactive this one is interesting. Um, the way it's set up on here in the software it makes me think that if you click on one of the colors, so we click on orange, that that would be the color that it uses. And what it does is, if you don't touch the mouse, the color turns off. But the second that you do any kind of movement in the mouse, it reacts and it shows the colors. But it doesn't show the color that you've chosen only it actually shows all of the colors. It kind of cycles through them. Which, in my case, or in my opinion, that's better. And then we have flash. And that just uh, flashes kind of like a turn signal on a car. And you can choose, you know, one color that you want it to flash. And you can change your brightness level and your flashing speed. And then the last tab is just to turn all the lights off. The mouse would just sit there dark. Okay. And then to our last tab here. All this is is just the version of the software that you're working with. It tells you the model of mouse that you're using. And it gives you Red Dragon's 
website. Alright everybody, there is a link down in the description section where you can find the software for this mouse. It's on Red Dragon's website. Now hopefully you did enjoy the show today. If you did, please feel free to go ahead and click that like button. If you didn't like it, go ahead and click that dislike button. But if you do click that button, please feel free to leave a comment in the comment section telling me why you didn't like it. So that way I can work on whatever it is in the future and make better videos for you guys. If you did like the video, please go ahead and click on that subscribe button. And don't forget to click on the bell icon. That way you know when I upload new videos in the future. Again, thanks for watching, and you guys have a great day. Summer.